Hi, my name is Aipomi. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be checking out the new game Little Witch in the Woods. It released, I'm pretty sure today, at least the English version. But I think this one actually did release earlier, either in Korean or Chinese. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like it was Korean, but it hasn't been localized until now. So today, the 17th of May, it is available on Steam to purchase. And it's actually also on sale. So if you do own a PC or anything that you can play Steam on, I would recommend to check it out now because it's, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, I think I bought it for a little over 11 euros. I happened to wishlist it this morning because I've already been interested when I saw some people playing it, you know, last year in what I think is Korean. <laughs> I, I, I can't read or speak Korean, so I was like, oh, I'll look at it later. So when it came out today, I was like, oh, let me put it on my wishlist at least. And then a friend of mine, she texted me and she said, yeah, you should definitely check this out. It's such a cute game. And it was that one. I was just like, what a coincidence. I just wishlisted it. So I'm very easily influenced and that was all I took. She just said to me I should check it out so I bought it and <laughs> we're gonna check it out and um, I thought why not just make a little playthrough of it at least at the beginning show you guys if you want to see more I can make more playthrough videos but I just I want to check it out and I thought it could be fun to check it out together and see how it, what it's gonna be like. All I know is that it looks very cute and cozy and there's a little witch in the woods. I don't even really know what it's about so we're gonna find out we're gonna switch over to my you know recording streaming setup so let's do that we are here i should probably uh make my camera a little smaller so you guys get to see the actual gameplay but i'm already very excited this looks absolutely stunning doesn't it very calming too as far as i could see it is still in early access yes it's also saying right here in the corner early access so that means that this game can definitely still get a bunch of updates and this is not the final product but let's check out what everything is press any button all right new game oh select a c <gasps> cute i'm gonna be lowering the volume a little bit i hope it's not too loud look at her the art is truly so adorable <gasps> i love the art all right, so we have our little main character, our little witch. Her name is Ellie. She's saying, I wonder where the carrot was? You're still thinking about that? Oh, is that her hat? I think it's her hat talking to her. We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. <laughs> there was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. Oh, I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school, save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom! Uh oh. <laughs> a carrot in a men's restroom, what an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. <laughs> Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. Like coward finds it, he'll take it to the teacher bawling, like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Jail? Or six feet under? What did you do? Oh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Look at that little creature, that little dude over there. Is he a cat? I love him. Hey, a ticket for this train cost 500 pies? Pies? And it stopped the witch's house in High Lion, where all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches. Whatever, I don't care about any of that. Oh, <laughs> she's so angry. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. <laughs> I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. Aw, no wonder Will started crying. How cute. How did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be darkened down, but it's only three years of your life. Right, okay. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking my off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. <laughs> He's like very distrustful of her. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. 
don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is High Lion? The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at High Lion, so she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See, mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. She's so cute, I love the art. That's strange. It's true, I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. <gasps> that sounds scared the heck out of me. So we have a keyword, lace up boots. It's a pain to wear lace up boots if you're boarding the train to High Lion. Alright, whatever that means. The truth remains one. Oh, okay. So we move with the buttons. I feel like I don't need to use my mouse at all. This is how we move. <gasps> Cute! And we can inter investigate. The food was really delicious though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelette was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. Okay. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with white whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. <laughs> it's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch series cards. Ooh. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again, High Lion. I want to collect cards. <laughs> I hope this thing. I'll definitely try the new BQ Lab cupcakes there. That's if I get to High Lion before I get bored to death. Okay, can we talk to him? Oh, he's a bartender? Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? <laughs> of course. <laughs> then I'll have a cup with that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? <laughs> but then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. <laughs> then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Oh. Keyword conversations. You can initiate conversations using the keywords at your disposal. Something on your mind. Oh, so we can do personal stories, chit-chat, or shop. Honestly, I want to know what shop is. We only sell alcohol at the moment. Oh. Okay, personal stories. What sort of work do you do here? I'm mixing my life and changing the alcohol. <laughs> Wait, I think it's the other way around. Uh, it's kind of funny. I'm just an average bartender working in the most expensive place in the world. What brings you to this very expensive train? I thought you were listening to our conversation. I stopped listening when it got boring. <laughs> oh, rude. I'm going to be an apprentice at the witch's house in High Lion. After working as an apprentice for three years, I will be able to graduate from the School for Witches. Whoa, High Lion, huh? That's the right proper place, isn't it? So they say. That's probably why you got the train ticket for free. You must be someone special. I don't really care about that kind of thing, though. That kind of thing is what's important at the end of the day. It's best to just suck it up. You'll be glad you did later down the road, you know? Yeah, later. Alright, and we could just do chit chat now? Let me know if you need anything to drink. Oh, that was it. And so what is that normal thing over there? Oops. Oh shit. Oh, there's different texts. Oops, I skipped through it, but she asked why he was working here. He's saying he used to own a bar. In this area? Sure did. My wife and I, the two of us. Whoa, you're both bartenders? A matter of work, after all. We had to move due to circumstances though, so here we are now. I hope a time comes when you two open up shop again. Goodbye. <laughs> Interesting. What do what does that little glove mean? I don't know. Okay, I can also tab. The truth remains one. Should shoes be taken off when arriving at Highland? Ask others. Okay, so that's our little quest, I guess. Uh let's see what other people there are on this train. I should ask the person closest to me. Oh. That was my cat meowing, I'm sorry. Bobby. She randomly does this these last couple of days. She's just sleeping on the bed and then she'll just meow very loudly and then she'll continue sleeping. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I think we should ask him, but I don't know how to ask him. When some water... Uh, what does this normal thing mean? Oh! Okay, guys. If you press the little arrows, not up and down, but left to right, that will change the category. And so the normal changes to special and here we can continue the quest. That's how that works. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into High Lion Station. 
You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for High Lion. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Oh, ye who reacheth High Lion, look first upon thy shoes. Or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil? Oh, the hat is called Virgil? <laughs> I was right. The preppy boots mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. So, that's impressive. I don't know if I pronounced that the right way in English, but uh, she's a very smart witch. It sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? Haha, <laughs> hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being boredom. Being bored, I would say. Oh, it won't be an issue. Nope, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it certainly's gotten it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. <laughs> You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly. How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. <laughs> I should be on my way then. Alright, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. Okay. Okay, so press N to open notes and to see the keywords you have. Okay, so we have laser boots. Okay, so you can see we have to ask two more people, I think. There's this cute little monkey and then there's a question mark. Okay, the art is adorable. Oh my god. Okay, so this is probably the other person. Is he a wolf? He's an ordinary passenger. Let's see. Hello. His name is Roy. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? <laughs> oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Highland, right? Correct. Um, what's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. <laughs> well, I used to be a soldier. So what brings you here? Speak. <laughs> um, I'm kind of interested in the personal stories just to hear about his being a soldier. Also, there's a lot of animals. I wonder if everything, if, like everyone that we interact with is going to be an animal. You live in Highland? Correct. I own a flower shop there. <gasps> He's a soldier, ex-soldier, and now he owns a flower shop. That's adorable. Whoa. Speak. <gasps> okay, let's do the lace-up boots. Before that, what? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at High Lion. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. This is such an interesting plot. Thing. It's all about, do you have to take your shoes off when you get there? What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding? I'm sorry, I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized that I was deceived. So you don't have to take them off, I guess. Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit High Lion for the first time. Stop, you don't have to kill me twice by giving that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. <laughs> you don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. She's just like grinding her teeth. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. 
Now I'll go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have three more days to go. So there's some little issues with the translation. It's not too big, but so far I've definitely noticed a lot of tiny little like spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes. Three more days. That's as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> so we didn't get to speak with uh, the cute little monkey who is a train crew. Yeah, there's sort of no more option to ask him. Okay, up ahead is the engine room. Small talk is forbidden during operation. <gasps> okay, maybe personal stories? I'm an attendant of Reitman Railroads. My job is to ensure the passenger's comfort and safety. Uh, okay. He doesn't have much to tell us. So, what do we do now? Return to your seat and wait until you arrive. Okay. They are truly adorable. Oh, there we go. This was our seat, I think. Um, how do we get back? Oh, okay. Never mind. It does it for you automatically. All right. Now have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. Cute. Okay. I'm bored. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Wait, hold on. Virgil, shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. That's a cute tree. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree. Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Uh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. <laughs> My god. Fat chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any croco fans nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? Oh my god, she's looking for some danger. This isn't a jungle. <laughs> Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? Oh, we are stopping. Hey, a boa constrictor. The correct line is, what's going on? <laughs> There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please just say there's some massively critical issue. Please, please. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so bad. Please. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? <laughs> The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes! <laughs> She's like manifested this. Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time? Can we go aside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Oh my gosh, she's so rude. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember, the shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Okay. Then we should get going. A shining tree. Okay, let's go check out this tree, I guess. I think we can leave through here. Yeah. Whoa, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it. <laughs> let's hurry. Okay. Uh, yeah, so tap to see our... Jobs. I already saw that. Search for the shining tree. Okay, so there is. It's Monday, 10 p.m. So I feel like I have to make sure we get back on time. Oh, oh did I save something or did it do that automatically? It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Thought these were the vines. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, adorable. Okay, it's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. I love the little ASMR sounds. Very satisfying. What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of the, of the, of them by hand. It's probably them. You know, there's another one, like another little mistake. You must find a nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find a nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. 
Okay, so I think we need to go back. Oh, you can temporarily get rid of the vines with Wee Terminator Potion. But they'll grow back after a while. Then what do I do? Find a cord. Yeah, okay. Oh, I found it. They just disappeared. The sounds kind of reminds me of Star Valley. Okay, we can pass. <gasps> the music. My friend told me she said the music was very good. I agree. Great, it's time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Okay, oh, we can sprint. Sprinting uses stamina. Okay. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, we can shake. Require. Cran apple. I love the music. The music is already... The music and the art already makes me feel like... I'm sold on this game. Okay, I'm shaking the tree. We've got some... Branches. What is this glowing? Oh my god. <gasps> I don't know what I did. I made it stop glowing though. But it makes very cute little sound. Like a bell. What is this? There's a hole in the ground. Also, it looks like time is not passing or it's passing by very, very slowly because it's still 10 p.m. Oh, how cute. The art is absolutely amazing. I want to get up here. How do I get there? There's a little bunny on top of that building. Oh, the shining tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quickly if you want to see it. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess that means I can't go here. Yeah, whenever you go the wrong way, they will tell you. Witch flower. A mountain. That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. <laughs> oh, there's little butterflies and they're glowy as well. I can't I can't seem to grab one though. Oh, it's like a little map. Okay. This is obviously the way to go. However, can I get those mushrooms? No, but I can get an, two more witch flowers. A dangle mango. Maple herb. How adorable. Wow, it's so pretty. This game is gorgeous. There's a key. Why are there so many things blocking the path? This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or... Do you know how it works? School hammered it into my hat. Shouldn't be an issue as long as it's drawn well. Oh, that was me. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that was it, I guess. We're going to the mysterious glowy tree. We're here. Whoa, it's the gigantic shining tree. The same one we saw from the train. This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. It's full with like shiny butterflies. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right. The butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight. It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower in Lucerne or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Mm, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Ooh, I love that. Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. Okay, so now we have retrace your path. And I guess just pick up whatever. I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. 
What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Oh, look. The blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. But how do I collect them? You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gravier, Gravier sh said? <laughs> that lives under the bed? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, not that. Draw it before you touch it. Okay, that's right. Press and hold the use quill button to draw. Once the gauge is full and the drawing is complete, the subject of the drawing will be recorded. All right. Press it and use the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia. Okay. So I press Q and then Z. And we've drawn the blue moon butterfly. <gasps> How adorable. A butterfly that emits a soft blue glow from absorbing moonlight. It is sensitive to sound, but will not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened. Okay, so yeah, you need a tool. You need like a net to collect them. Cute, very cute. Great, it's registered in the catalog. Let's see. Now, do you see why you can't catch any right now? It's because of the tool. Hmm. Oh, she's wearing little glasses. So cute. <laughs> so you can collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do then. But I want to do it right now. Getting to the witch's house in Highline is more important. <sighs> Let's go back down now. There's got to be something else that's fun. Okay. I will just listen. Um, but first, let me collect some more of this stuff. Wait, I can also draw it first, maybe? And then grab it? Oh, I guess you have to- Oh my god, okay, so the hands mean those are my tools. Okay, I can. Okay, so I just drew it. And then I get to grab it. I'm just drawing everything I can find. Um, I feel like it's not re registered here. Maybe I have to draw more. Because they, they appear a little bit. Oh, that might be it. Oh, there's a little kitty! <gasps> oh, wow. Ellie, let's go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil! A shining white cat? I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to... Let's go after the creature! What is that? No, wait, I wanna know. We don't have a net, so I guess I can't catch that. Adorable. I love how everything glows. Okay, the cat is going this way. Now it's waiting over here. Oh! Oh, we got a witch's white chalk. I think the cat dropped something and left. What's this? Looks like a witch chalk. That thing you used to draw things, like a pattern? It looks a little different from the one we were using at school. It's just a different packaging. This witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same colored witch chalk. Chalk? Is it chalk? I don't know how to pronounce that, actually. Since I have the one I just picked up earlier, let's draw it again with that. Should I draw the witch pattern again using one which is white chalk? Yes. Alright, I drew the witch pattern again. Okay, so now we should be able to pass through. Follow the white kitty, the glowing white kitty, I might add. <gasps> I think we are already at the witch's house. This is the witch's garden. It looks so cute. It's so spoopy. Where did the cat go? Look, Virgil, there's a house. That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at the witch's house? That's true, but... Well... What's this? Okay, I guess we just go inside. Knock. Anyone there? Is anybody there? Seems like nobody is here. It could be an abandoned witch's house. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. Alright, let's go inside. <gasps> so cute! Oh, it really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own, it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition considering how dirty it is. But the bat looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. 
Um, well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. You can recover stamina spent by eating or sleeping. Okay, so I guess we go to bed? What a cute little house. <gasps> this is all so adorable. The whole aesthetic is great. Uh-oh, did we oversleep? Um, what's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train, only to dream of just that. You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait, isn't that actually the sound of the train? What? Really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry. Oh, no. Oh, clean up. Oh, it's a bit messy. Oh, this is like still dialogue as if it was the previous day. We'll just leave for one day, who cares? Okay. <gasps> and now in daylight it looks adorable! It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. Alright, let's hurry back then. Oh. What are these bunnies? Oh my god, I picked one up! Oh my god, I got his fur. I know we should hurry. Okay, so those are those holes, and then they disappear. <gasps> so cute, squishy chop. Like, are you kidding me? This game is truly adorable. All right, I'm like casually just collecting all of the stuff, and the train is like, they hurry up. <laughs> oh my god, the train sound is getting a little annoying. Okay, huh? Where's the train? Oh no, we missed it. There's a giant chicken over there, though. Ha, looks like a bird was imitating train sounds. Oh no, but the train is gone. But where's the train? It probably went to High Lion. Then what do we do now? Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. Okay, so I guess this is like a... Um, how do you say it? Like something you inherit? So it was with her mom when she was younger? No, it's with her. That's adorable. Okay, can the bird stop though, please? Okay, thank god. What is that thing? It's called a gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. <laughs> Quiet, I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the gaga bird. Fine, whatever, just be quiet. It's only 8 a.m. So there's a like, little book here, I think, for an envelope. A letter. How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. She's wearing her little glasses again. I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back, and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send... Enite and Arden my regards. Bartender. <laughs> He doesn't have a name. He said there's a village, Virgil. This is really fun, though. I thought we would for sure just spend the game at the witch's house, but not yet. We're gonna spend at a village right now. Are you even a little upset that we missed a train, Ellie? There's a village nearby, but I can't imagine where it would be. We explored the area quite a lot yesterday. It was probably too dark to see. Let's look for it again. See if there's a sign as well. How about cleaning the witch's house? We might have to stay there until we find the village. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited. We missed a train, remember? Right. You heard me, right? Well then, I might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. All right, so there's a side quest, I guess, to draw. Yeah, so the main quest is to clean the witch's house where a prolonged stay seems inevitable. And to mention that there is a village nearby, look for the sign to find the town's location. I think that was that sign that we saw earlier up there. And then the side quest is to draw with your quill and use the quill to lock three more to the catalog. Oh my god, I'm really loving this game. It's really, really fun. Is there... Can we go here? I don't think so. No. Truly love the whole color scheme of this game too. It's beautiful. When do we complete that one? It, it seems like I'm not drawing. <laughs> it doesn't show any progress, does it? I did it the wrong way. You have to hold down C. Oops. Well, now we know. 
Now we know, I guess. So now it should be complete. Yep, now it's completed. You just have to do it one time, but press and hold. Okay, guys, don't make the same mistake that I did. We can draw him. Bush bug. Oh. Man, I wish I lived in this world. If the bugs looked like this, I would be okay with them. Okay, let's throw one of these bunnies if we can. Absolutely cute and adorable. Yay, so we did the side quest, but we'll continue because, of course. Oops. Oh, okay, wait. So my inventory is almost full. I only have one more spot. Let me steal some of your fur. <laughs> So cute. Oh, no. They're going in there. Okay. Goodbye, little buddies. They're adorable. Okay, so there's a sign over here. Oh, the town lies to the east of here. Okay. I guess people do live around here. All right, let's head east. But it seems to be blocked by something over there. Yeah. The, those finds. North, east, southwest. Yes. That's true. It's a little honey pumpkin. Let's take a look first. Oh, I can just remove the- no, 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 I don't think that's gonna work. The- I think that's the way to the village, but the little honey pumpkin is in the way. Let's go to the witch's house and find a way. And also clean up. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of the wheat first. There's too much. It would take forever to pull all this out using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. It might have a potion to get rid of weed. Okay, what bin are we talking about? There's nothing here. Then we'll have to use another tool. Is there another tool? Yes, there's a wonderful tool. What's that? Your hands. Oh, okay. We just have to pull all these out. This is very satisfying, though. Oh, also I see now that time is passing. Oh, we can take a nap. Should we take a nap because we're running out of stamina? I wouldn't mind taking a nap here. Maybe later. Okay, never mind. We can't do it yet. I have to say I'm loving this game so far. Super calming, adorable, and fun. Alright, I think I got rid of all of them, right? It's nice to see that it's clean. Now it's time to tidy up the house. Ha, <laughs> right. Look, Ellie, it's a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while cleaning. Okay, clean up. She really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. I feel like we are running out of stamina. I don't know what the difference is between the red and the brown. I wonder where the witch is, the one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating a living well somewhere in Lucerne or two. It's a witch bookshelf! Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. That's the same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read a book, though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. Oh my god. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. <laughs> Stop nagging. I read enough, enough books at school. Hmm. Witch history. The 12 plants. Fun book of plants. Gardening for witches. <gasps> there are so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. Oh, I love this. I want to be a garden witch. <laughs> I think we've cleaned up everything now. Oh, it's a notebook. Might be useful later. All done cleaning. It's also messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop buzzing me around like a teacher. I finally managed to get out of school. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. Told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. Oh, this is a witch elevator? That's why you have to listen to the teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. <gasps> what if there's a scary monster? You think so? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Workplace. Oh my god, it's a little elevator. <gasps> we have our own little witch's workshop. Oh, look at this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning. Well, cleaning again. I know what this is. It's an extractor. We used it so many times at school. It was a slightly smaller one, though. 
It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad at least. What? I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. Alright, let's go to the village first. Right, okay. Let's look for one. So we need to repair the tools now. But let's continue cleaning first. This box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. Nice. Okay, let's immediately do that. <laughs> I'm just moving everything for now. Except maybe this. It has a heart, so maybe it heals you. Oh. Um, and this one. Okay. This is another one, but I can't add these. You can't use this item. Okay. Maybe later. We picked up some fur. Some witch flower extract. Oh, these are all extracts. Let me just pick all of that up. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? You've used them in school countless of times. Are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna meet, meet this witch that lived here. A ro roaster? Ugh, I hate this thing. You have to put in the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really? Oh yes, there's no handle for winding the spring. Why would I get a roaster handle? I don't need the roaster since it is not needed for the basic recipes. And there should be something when you get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. Would it? That doesn't really make sense to me. <laughs> it's a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last, you'll end up with a proper potion. Okay, so that's, I think, the main thing is that we're going to be crafting potions. In order to craft, craft potions, you need to follow the required ingredients, fire setting, and ladle direction. Carefully review the recipes in the encyclopedia. Okay. Okay. I actually liked Teacher Olivia. Still, the color looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. Oh, we can already make one? Okay, yeah. No, not yet. <laughs> the spilled bottles, scribbled paper, and a book? What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil? Looks like a recipe for potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads, a potion with the power of the moon. The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. Oh, okay. There's also something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. Hmm, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. How does she not remember that at all? I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyway? Hmm, looks like a recipe. It seems like moons something. I have no idea. I got a headache. Take a look if you remember later. Okay, so this is an unreadable memo. An old memo written in an unintelli unintelligible language. I think I learned the language a while ago, but I can't remember. Yeah, I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. There's no use for it now. Okay. Okay, so if we open the encyclopedia, we can switch to the next category to see all of the recipes. I'm all done cleaning. We can make potions now. It would be hard to make properly because the machine tools are broken. Since there were ingredients on the ground, let's try making with it with them for now. There was a little honey pumpkin in front of the village. The stubborn weed elimination potion should do it right. Nice, okay, we're gonna make that potion to progress to the village. How fun. It's a weed terminator potion. Whatever. Check the recipe in the encyclopedia. You'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you were lucky enough to find. Alright, let's do it. Removing pesky pumpkins. Okay. 
Open the encyclopedia. Okay, so we have the Terminator. Okay, so we need one squishy chop fur extract and one witch flower extract. And then we put two of the squishy chop fur in the extractor, squeeze the juice. Okay, yeah, but like I think because we already have the extract, that we can skip that because the our extractor is not working. Then we set the fire to stage four. Don't stir, and then pour it in the right vessel. So I think it's it's pretty easy. We just set the fire to stage four. I'm assuming we add the juice. Set the fire to stage four. Don't stir, and then that's it. Okay. So we add in. Try crafting Wee Terminator Potion using Witch Flower Extract and Squish Chub Fur Extract. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, the fire is already at four. Oh, how cute! Okay, we did it! We made the potion! To make best use of this potion, it is best to know what unwanted plant you are targeting. It is most effective on garden weeds. <gasps> Adorable! We made a potion! We did it! Awesome! The stubborn weed extermination potion is complete. It's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready! Let's go throw it at the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully, since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. You must throw it at the little honey pumpkin and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. Because we terminator potion is just a temporary measure. I got it! Okay. Oh, you can use quick slots to quickly use potions. Select a potion of choice, equip it, then use it. Okay. So we press E to change the potion and then E to equip it. Eh? Uh, because we only have one potion, I guess we can only equip it. We can't change it because we don't have any others. Alright, I think we're gonna wrap it up for here right now for this video. Thank you all so much for watching this video today. What do you think of Little Witch in the Woods? I personally am completely in love. I can't wait to play more. Um, if you want to watch more of this, please let me know because then I'll know if I'll make another playthrough for YouTube or if I just play this on my own time and just make a final review video for you guys. So definitely let me know if you enjoyed this type of video and yeah if have you picked this up yet are you going to so far i would really recommend it it's so much fun and the next playthrough would then be us going to the village and seeing where the story is going to take us what other pretty art is in store for us because this game is truly stunning it's super cozy super fun i love that we get to be a witch so yeah that's uh that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video soon bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.